It's Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. It's day four of Vlogmas today. What day is it? Day... Calendar day! Oh, it's calendar day every day. Back by popular demand. Alice is back, aren't you? And you're excited. What are you pointing at? What is it? Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. I've got Peppa Pig. Do you like Peppa Pig? Yeah. Yeah. What else do you like? Frozen. Frozen. She likes Frozen as well. Right then, so. I like Danny Dog. Danny Dog out of Peppa Pig. Yeah. Okay, so. How did your dancing go yesterday, Alice? What's Good. The, tell everybody, what did you go, where did you go yesterday? Oh, body dancing. Yeah. Did you do a show? Yeah? I went on a big one, though. No. You went on a big one? A big stage? Yeah. I'll put a video in of her dancing on the stage. Right then, so let's get... Grand, Dad took some pictures of me. He did, did he? Yeah, okay. do you want to look at it? Yeah, or should we put them on the video later? Yeah. Yeah, to show everybody. Yes, okay. Right, let's have a look at our calendars. Wow, hold on. <laughs> okay, I'll show you which one to open. Um, so, it's number four today. This one. Please be a fudge, please be a fudge, please be a fudge. What is it? Do you like them ones? No. Oh, you just switched the telly up. How did even that happen? Well, oh, good news is mummy likes these ones and guess what? I've got a surprise for you. What? I'll show you. Yeah. It's so, you know mummy, you know, you know mummy's friend Becky? Yeah. She knows how much you like fudges, so she's done you your own little advent calendar here, and you've got to open one of these every day, and then you have to see what's in there. So do you want to open one? Okay, yes, just I one. Don't. Put your hand in and open one. Right, so that's today's. What do you think it's going to be? You have to say, please be a fudge, please be a fudge. Please be a fudge, please be a fudge. <laughs> <laughs> right, and what do you say to Becky? Keep ripping it. Ow. My thumb hurting. Oh, what are you doing to your thumb? My thumb. I, I banged it when Dad grabbed me off the stage when we were going. <laughs> he grabbed you off the stage? <gasps> um, do you know Lizzie was there? Who? Lizzie. Lizzie? Would you like me to help you with that? Yeah. No. Oh. I can wrap this up very well. There we go. What is it? What is it? Is it a fudge? I want to. You... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to. Well, you eat that one and then we'll see what we can do. And then, this is your new calendar that the lovely Vicky got you, which is all about Bluey. So do you want to open number four today? I want the one I've already opened. No, you have to open number four. No! Okay, we'll open this one first. Where's the one I've already opened? Inside, but you opened it wrong. So open that one then. What is it? This, this one is all right, but that one's Okay, hurting. well use your good thumb then. Oh! <gasps> No, you can't open more than one. How do advent calendars work? One. One at a time, yeah. Right. That's the big one on on the day before Christmas. That's our blue. So, do you say thank you to Vicky? Thank you, Vicky. <laughs> she can loves have, it. Can I have another one? After? We'll see. Do you want me to open it? You've got it. Right. Should we only open her calendars now? Can I open it? Yeah. Do you want to open this one first? So this is from Anna. Feels like fat quarters or something stop slapping your mouth ribbon ribbon first oh. <laughs> maybe some paper maybe <laughs> oh what 
is this? Oh, look. It is. Is it a pillowcase? It's a pillowcase. For my bedroom. With free motion. Sewing all over it. Isn't that lovely? So Anna must have done that herself. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure John will let me put that on the bed, but that is very pretty. It's free motion on that. That is something I definitely want to start doing. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Can I colour on it? No, you can't. Right. Number four. Fabric Godmother. Mm. You using your good thumb or your bad thumb? My bad thumb. You've got me to help you. There we go. What do we think it is? We don't oh. know. Oh. Yeah. Sewing gem. Handmade sewing tools and haberdashery. Oh, I've got high hopes about this one. We're struggling. No. Do you want me to lift that bit? I'm, I'm doing my back. There you go. <gasps> Little bag. There you go. It's a wood, it's like a wooden. Is it for needles? Oh, I was a little bit disappointed because I thought it was going to be an unpicker. Mm. I think it's for keeping your needles in. It is lovely. How beautiful is that? It would have been more beautiful if it had an unpicker. I'm not going to need for shy. He wasn't shy, no. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming, oh, yeah, I'm assuming it's a needle minder. So you put your needles in it, which is very pretty and very, very nice. Hmm. I like it. I just was a bit disappointed it wasn't a non picker. But it's very cute. And that's sewing gems. I'm going to go over and check them out. Okay. All right. Well, that's not cheap, is it? So, happy with that? Right then, Alice, we've got to get started with our day. So, what's the plan for today? Mum, I want another. Okay, well, let's just talk to the camera first. What's the plan for today? School. School, yeah. Maybe I'm going to move and egg banana. Can you stop showing everybody your, 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 your mouth full of food, please? Thank you. That's better. So, Alice is going to school today. I am at work today. And <laughs> I am at work today. And then where do we go tonight? Swimming. We go swimming. <coughs> I'm swimming today. Yeah, so we could take you along on that journey. I can't film her in the swimming bath because you're not allowed to film, but we, we can do a little bit of footage, can't we? When I picked up from school and stuff. Um so yeah, it's gonna be a good day. So we'll see you all later. Say goodbye, Alice. Bye. Hiya, so I'm all dressed and I'm working, like allegedly working here. I've got my laptop. I've just finished some meetings. I always have meetings between 9 and 11. Um, so I'll finish with those now. And the postman's just come, so I've got some happy posts. And I know exactly what it is. It's from Lady McElroy. And this purchase is all the fault of Claire from Love's Red. She said to me, I've seen this fabric. You will love it. It's got robins on it. And I looked at it and I had to get it. It's so gorgeous. So let me just get it out. Well, I hope it's as gorgeous in the flesh. Yes, it is as gorgeous. So I hope that's coming up. Oh, look, it's got robins. Look at the robins on it. And it's on like a brown, I think it's like on a brown base, is it? Which is, but these colours are all my colours. It's on a brown base with these gorgeous robins. It's a chalet and it's got this gold lorex in it. How gorgeous is that? I just, I have no idea what I want to make with it. I just absolutely love robins, as you know. So I don't know how much I ordered. <laughs> Three metres that I ordered. 
yeah three meters so i've got a, a good amount there um and that's going to go straight into my stash but yeah absolutely absolutely gorgeous I've also had a PDF pattern delivered today, which I can't share with you because it's top secret, but all will become, um, if I manage to get it made up, all will be revealed this week. So you won't have to wait very long, but I need to get that sewn up ASAP because I have a deadline for that. Um, so yeah, so that is what I am planning to do today. I need to wash some fabric. I need to show you my fabric haul from fa first for fabrics. And then I need to get this pattern cut out, fabric cut out and sewn up tonight. <laughs> okay i'll see you in a bit hiya so i've just took a break from work because i wanted to talk to you about my trip to so tune yesterday so if you've watched my um, vlogmas from yesterday which took me forever to upload um you will see all the footage and everything from the day but i haven't jumped back on to talk about it because by the time i got dropped off by becky it was half past seven i was really really tired and i just wanted to spend time with my family to be honest i hadn't seen them all weekend but now i thought i'd come in and talk to you about it so the experience of going to so tomb was absolutely amazing um you saw us um have breakfast at costa first so we had a lovely breakfast at costa and then we went up to so tune um in this lovely little community center and it's absolutely gorgeous it was Oh, it was just such a lovely little setup, so bright, airy. Tamlin was there, um, looking gorgeous, and so was um, Alison and Rachel and Ruan and Lucy, um, and then lots of other ladies. I also got to meet Tamlin's mum as well, and we were wearing exactly the same dress. Well, not exactly the same dress, exactly the same fabric from Beyond the Pink Door, um, which was really nice to see. So we were twins in, which is really good. I'll. Um, I think I put a photo in yesterday but I'll re-put a photo in today just to show you um, and yeah it was just absolutely brilliant we went off to first for fabrics it was only me Rachel Ruan um, yeah me Rachel Ruan Becky I think your name was Sue and Vicky that went um, and I didn't spend the most which was really nice um, for once uh, but I'm sure they're all gonna do their own fabric haul, so I won't spoil the surprise. Now, I did go with intentional buying. There was two particular fabrics that I wanted. And one of those is I've washed and it's actually soaking wet. So I'm gonna show it you now and then get it back on the floor. Because <laughs> I am actually gonna make this up because I've got a secret project that I'm doing that I need to get made up tonight. So the first fabric that I got was this fabric, which I've had my eye on. It's the Gingerbread Man um, jersey, which Tamlin, made her little boy tailor some pajamas in and i got three and a half meters of this that i want to make myself some pajamas and alice some pajamas if i've got enough so that's my first one and it's uh, this is the stuff of denmark fabric which i've never had before and it's absolutely lovely quality and it's got these little gingerbread man on and little candy canes and the thing the pair of pajamas that i'm going to make has a button placket um and i actually have some gingerbread men buttons and i'm probably just going to do it for show i think i'm not going to actually bother with buttonholes but yeah i'm going to have button and um, placket on it with the little gingerbread buttons so that should look really really nice and i should be able to let you know what pattern it is in the next couple of days um if i get it made up and what i also did was got some of uh, this gorgeous ribbon to go with it so I'll be doing um, cuffs and things in this just to give it that little bit of um, contrast. And I um denied between the different colours, but I went for this kind of terracotta melange kind of fabric. And obviously all of these things are in stock now. So I'll link all the items that you can get off the website, on the website, off the website, on my um, description. But some of these items won't be on there because they don't, they don't actually put everything on that website. So that's where it's good to go sometimes. The next fabric that was on my list was this Cuddle Fleece. I got a metre of this for Alice. And she keeps saying to me, Mummy, I want a matching hoodie like you've got um, that you wear um, in your Cuddle Fleece in the morning. So I got Alice a metre to make her one. I mean, I might even be able to get a onesie from that. But yeah, she wants a hoodie to put on in the mornings when we wake up and it's cold. So yeah, this is in stock now as well. And it's the most softest cuddle fleece you could ever, ever want. Honestly, you could just sit and cuddle it like this. How's that? 
Oh God, and it's, I've got fluff everywhere now. Um, the next fabric was one that I wanted to get, not necessarily this colour, but I had seen this. I think it's stuff of Denmark as well, but it's like a furry fleece back, really thick, like toasty jumper. And I wanted this and I got it in this purple colour and I got some kind of matching ribbon. It's a little bit lighter, but I think it will get away um, with it. And I'm thinking I might want to make the Mile End hoodie in this, the Mile End Cosset Core Mile End jumper. Um, very unusual for me to have a plane, but I just think this is so snuggly. And I got a metre and a half of that. So there's that one as well. And then my next one was, again, another... The, the next ones are all impulse buys, really. So I saw this one. Um, I think Rachel got some of this as well. And I got it in like a caramelly colour because although I like the purple that they did it in in the blue, this is my colour palette more. So I got this with some black ribbing and I'm definitely going to make a um, billy out of this one. Again, I just want some nice snuggly jumpers for wearing about the house. Um, and I don't think I'm going to do the dress. I think I'm going to do the billy jumper, but low, make it a little bit longer. Yeah, one and a half metres of that as well. Not one piece of viscose in there. So proud of myself. And then this is a piece of needle cord. I just got a metre of this. Um, actually, I've got over a metre because it's a narrow fabric. But it's a hound's tooth, which I really liked. She said it was slightly off grain, so she'd give me a little bit more of it, actually. But I'm just going to make... That's going to just be some kind of skirt. I love a needle cord, love a hound's tooth, and them together is perfect so it's very very small on a beigey background and then finally i only got this one because it was cheap <laughs> and i loved it it was 6.95 a meter and it's an absolutely lovely soft knit fabric um that's the back and that's the front and it's like navy sparkles i don't know how well that sparkles coming up oh yeah quite well and I got two and a half metres of this and I want to make a lovely, comfy jumper dress. Long sleeves, long, comfy. Yeah, I think it'd be lovely. Um, so, yeah, got that. And I thought it'd be a really nice, cosy, Christmassy um, jumper dress. So, there are the ones. Now, I know all the sweatshirts and you can definitely get online. I'm not sure you can get these two online. But I'm sure if you rang up the shop and asked them, they would price it up and send it out to you um so they're my fabrics i think we got 15 percent off as well which is a bargain so i think i ended up spending 130 pounds so yeah a bit of a uh, splurge but some of these are going to be for my christmas presents so i think i saw the sweatshirt in definitely this sweatshirt in and this sweatshirt in here i will be giving to my parents in law to wrap up for me for christmas because i want to make these up after christmas so yeah that is definitely something and, and i think to be fair the stuff fabrics are quite expensive but they're great quality and because i bought three and a half meters of the gingerbread men jersey it was about 45 pounds um so that was a big chunk of it on that gingerbread man fabric but i had to have it um so yeah i'm going to get that fabric in the in the dryer now so it's ready for me to cut out this evening me and Alice are going swimming in a bit, so I've got to get ready for that. And yeah, then I'll be back to cook tea. <gasps> but the good news is I'm on holiday tomorrow, so I'm very, very excited about that. I'm going to do a lot of sewing. See you in a bit. Excuse the hair. I'm back. It's um, time is at eight o'clock at night and I've just got Alice to sleep. I didn't do much filming after we last spoke because, to be honest, I just completely forgot. Um... But I did just want to jump on um, because I forgot to mention that on Sunday when I was at Sotoon, I actually missed my daughter's dance recital, which I know makes me a bad mom. But to be fair, I'd already booked Sotoon <laughs> before the little dance recital happened. Um, but my husband was an absolute superstar. Um, he took her. My middle daughter, Isabel, did her hair in a bun. Um, for her and my husband took Alice um, and took my mum um, which was really lovely so those of you who've watched me know my mum's got dementia um, and you know sometimes we try and give my dad a, a bit of respite because um, it can be hard work being a carer for somebody um, so yeah my, um, my, hub, my my lovely hubby who does drive me mad but I do love him 
<laughs> took my mum to the show and I'll put a few pictures up. Um, but Alice wanted me to let you see her dance. So I've put a little video up now of her dancing around in her tutu. Because as I'm really starting to believe, you love Alice more than me. <laughs> and we all know why you tune in and it's not to watch me. Um, I also wanted to say... Um, sorry, my yesterday's vlogmas was so delayed. I didn't get it up uploaded till lunchtime today. And it purely was because of having such a busy weekend and everything. So sorry about that, but I'll try and get them up on a daily basis now. And I also wanted to say thank you for all your lovely comments um, off the back of what I can only describe as a bit of a rant that I got into the other day. Um, just about, you know, people being... Um, you know, quite unkind about their comments sometimes. Um, and, you know, I've had some lovely messages and I'm quite a positive person, I think. And, um, you know, I try not to say too much, but, um, you know, it comes to the point where enough's enough. And if I feel like there are comments that are being made about people in the community, myself, others, um, then I am going to say something and, you know, it's it's time to take a stand on that and let's just be kind to each other. Um, and that was all I was trying to say, really. Um, so thank you for those people that have recognised that and have made some lovely comments. And, um, yeah, I hope that the events of the last couple of days and comments that people have made and, you know, people sharing how negativity on YouTube can upset them that people take notice of that um and yeah you know just stop if you haven't like my mum used to say if you haven't got anything nice to say don't say it simples that's all we have to do okay that's enough of that so i just wanted to jump on to say i'm just absolutely exhausted i am not going to get any sewing done tonight i'm on holiday tomorrow um I'm going to have a lovely little sewing day, which I will vlog tomorrow. So you'll get a bit more content from me tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and I'll leave you with Alice doing her dance recital. See you later. <laughs> Children,